Hey everybody, Alex Kazora, SteelersDepot.com, back with some Pittsburgh Steelers breaking news according to NFL Network's Tom Palacero. Pittsburgh Steelers defensive coordinator Keith Butler has informed the team he will retire, and so he's been with his team since 03, the coordinator since I think 2015, and so his time with Pittsburgh and in the NFL is done. This news certainly is not surprising. After 2020, there was some debate and discussion and uncertainty if Butler would return as D.C. for 2021. He signed a one-year contract, and that kind of told you probably 2021 would be his final year, and just based on the results of a defense that certainly had more struggles than what it's used to, especially against the run, it just kind of made sense that this would be the you know breaking point here where Butler would um, move on and, and, and retire. I certainly had my disagreements with Butler. You can go back and probably see old videos on that. At one point, frankly, called for him to be fired. Um, now, I understand Tomlin's influence on this defense has grown year by year, and certainly in 19 and 20, Pittsburgh had some elite defenses, granted with elite talent, a bunch of first-round picks, but elite defenses nonetheless. I won't focus on the negative really at all here. I'll just kind of remember Keith Butler was a Really great linebackers coach who developed some really good players. Um, James Ferry, whenever he came over from the Jets, uh, Lamar Woodley, James Harrison, Lawrence Timmons, and, and a slew of names across the way. Pittsburgh's always had um, really strong linebacker play, both off ball and along the edges, at least in most years this year. Um, off ball may be an exception, but um, just developing some of those guys over the years, we kind of forget about that. And just a really loyal, old school dude and just really love football, coach football, you know, for, for so long, for, I don't even know, 25, 30 years, played for Seattle for 10 years as a linebacker in the NFL. And so he's just kind of been a football lifer, one of those guys. And you have to appreciate, respect that. Also, very loyal to this team. You know, he was the uh, D.C. and waiting for Dick LeBeau for so long. And during some of those really successful Super Bowl winning years, um, Butler is implied and it, it makes a lot of sense that he had offers to go somewhere else and probably could have been a D.C., you know, anywhere or a lot of different places well before he became D.C. and Pittsburgh. But he wanted to stick with the team and um, just respect that loyalty for sure because that is a rarity um, in sports and, and really in life. So uh, Keith Butler certainly not going to go down in the Hall of Fame of great D.C.'s overall, but uh, respect what he's done, his resume, his career, and um, the, the guys he developed and the loyalty he showed to Pittsburgh. So I've been coaching this team since 03, and uh, this will be his last year. So just one of many changes that are expected to take place here this offseason. So wanted to let you guys know that news. So let me know your thoughts in the comments below about Keith Butler's retirement. And by the way, in terms of replacements, probably Terrell Austin. I could still still see Carl Dunbar, um, maybe an outside either. Probably interview some guys on the outside, you would think. Uh, but regardless, it should be Mike Tomlin's show, you know, running this thing. So I don't think that's why you're not going to get a splashy outside hire for those who want it because Tomlin is the de facto DC on this team. So again, let me know your thoughts in the comments below. Appreciate you guys watching and we'll talk to you soon.